Okay. I'm going to try to get through this. I'm sorry, y'all. I hope you didn't get a nostril boo-goo view. Um, I couldn't tell if my other video had turned off. Anyway, um, this is about Miss Lily. And, y'all, let me just say, I lived, I grew up on a farm. I know that cats are very predatory animals. And some of them are more than others. We had barn cats. And some of them were like, whoa. And some of them, eh, you know, they'd catch a mouse if they wanted to. Most of the time, they would just catch them and play with them. The ones that weren't very predatory. Well, my little Lily, bless her heart, I told y'all in that video, that she is just, I mean, she is as predatory and as, um, wild is not the word, but she is a go-getter and she's very, her instinct is strong. That's the word I was fishing for. Her instinct is very strong. And I know that. And I know that um, that I accept her the way she is. She is the most wonderful, wonderful kitty cat. She is just amazing. <laughs> I bought her and Toby uh, each one of those fishes, you know, that flops around. <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't gonna give Lily hers until Toby came over tonight, but I don't know why I did. Jerry was there. Anyway, uh, I wish I would have taken a video, but I was getting ready to leave the house. But I will take a video tonight of them uh, playing with their fish. Toby is going to be terrified of it. Talk about two cats being like night and day. They're actually like Deborah and Jerry. They are as different in a lot of ways as night and day, and very much alike in others. But, um, wow, it must be getting off time for people that work. I have not seen this much traffic in, well, what, a year and a half? Anyway, um... The other day, about a week ago, I think, I was sitting in the living room, and I, I don't know what I was doing, probably taking a siesta, and all of a sudden, a little hummingbird flew into the cottage. Yeah, flew right into the cottage. I want to make sure nobody's going to cut me off. Oh, we both had the same idea. Anyway, this little baby flew right into the cottage. And it went up where that ledge is, where the cat's like to go. They don't go as much. But I had some garland and stuff up there. 
and that little bird flew right into that stuff and Lily was right behind it and she jumped on the stove and she jumped on the refrigerator and thank goodness I grabbed her before she got up there. That poor little bird, I put her in the laundry room and shut the door and that poor little bird, I felt so sorry for him. Um, he, he came out of the, the um, uh, garland and he was trying to fly and he kept hitting his head on the ceiling and then he ran into the window that faces out toward the front and I was just frantic. I thought, please do not let this little bird injure himself. I finally, first I got him to land, I had a notebook in my hand and, and I got him to land but I didn't get halfway across the room and he flew off. I finally got the broom and put it next to him and he climbed on it and um, they've been doing construction on this part of our road for a long time. They always do construction. Anyway, I was so relieved. Immediately, I had to move a bird feeder. I had taken one of them down. And I was only using, uh, letting them eat from one. And I had it up high. So, I took it and um, I put it down at the very end of the patio and I put it almost to the top of the top of the patio roof. Well, last night, y'all, Lily caught one. Jerry's the one that saw her, of course. And he got the little girl away from her, but it was too late. She kept trying to get by Jerry to come in the house. I wonder why she always wants to bring stuff in the house. But it was horrible. And, um, Lily's been having to stay in. It's my fault that little bird got killed. That feeder. <laughs> it is gone, gone, gone. I should have known. I should But here's the thing. That yucca tree that I planted at the corner of the front yard, they, oops, they love to sit on that yucca tree. And I know that's probably, oh, I need to go down here. That's probably, um, I don't know, y'all. Anyway, it was horrible. It was horrible. And 
I am so thankful that Jerry was there. I don't know what I would have done. <sighs> Poor Jerry. You know, men don't know what to do with crying women. And I'm not crying right now. I'm trying not to. I don't blame Lily for that. I blame myself for that. So, actually, I mean, aside from the, you know, terribleness I'm proud of my cat she is she's an awesome kitty and she would be a heck of a good mouser maybe I should move to the country I don't know but I'm not parting with my little girl because she's doing what she was created to do. It's entirely my fault that that baby or that it was a lady hummingbird and um, so I am keeping a very very close watch and any drips of sugar, water, whatever. I'm mopping my, um, I've wiped them up, but I'm going to mop my um, patio. That'll be a job. But, you know, she, she just, her instincts are really, really strong. But today, yesterday, um, and today, or, you know, the rest of the day yesterday after that happened, um, I did not see any more hummingbirds, and I'm glad. I am going to miss them so much. I enjoyed them so very much. Thank you, sweetie. Um, I didn't, I've been outside the whole day until I went to um, San Marcos. I'm trying not to do my dishes. And, um, I didn't see a one, and that is totally, totally unusual. Oh, I hope you're not having car trouble, honey. Um, very unusual. In fact, the little red-headed one was getting so comfortable that I could be standing a foot from him and he would come on and he he would take a few sips and then he'd fly off a little bit and he'd come back now if Lily was out there or Jerry was out there you know they uh, they might come and get a drink but they would leave right away When Jerry came over today, I mean, I was searching the internet for netting that I, I mean, mesh, not netting, but mesh, so I could put it all over from my uh, patio ceiling down to the, I just wanted to be able to keep them out. But I have not seen any of them today. 
not one. They haven't even come looking for the bird feeders or bird feeder. They figured out really quick where it was. And I should have known better that that was not good enough. It's really hard to forgive yourself for, um, for being so, I don't know what, dumb. I hated to give them up. But that's not an excuse. Hello, Oceanside's finest. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. I did that. It was my fault. Jerry is so sweet. He is such a pain in the butt. But he is so sweet. He took the little girl and he had her wrapped up in some um, some paper. And today when he came by, he brought this big roll of uh, netting. And he also told me, I didn't throw the little bird away. I buried it. That's so sweet. Um, the netting he brought, though, we tried to catch a little sick bird with it and a bigger one than a hummingbird, and it just was too big. They would get caught in it. So... That's it, y'all. I don't have any more hummingbirds, and and I just, you know, God forgive me for being so stupid. I can't even believe I did that, but I did. But anyway, that just reiterates how much I love my little girl. And unless she attacked a baby in the face... She's not going anywhere. I love y'all. Do something fun today. I know this was not fun, but like I said, I put it all out there. And make yourself happy. Okay? It's important. So, um, y'all try not to be too hard on me about that. I'm, I'm pretty hard on myself. Anyway, love y'all. Bye. And I'm going to make another video.